Welcome back, Triple L family. Oh, yes, it's so good to see you guys back with us again today. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe to us, hit the bell down there. You all will get notifications every time we load up a new video. All right, guys, what we got here for you today is going to be some cheese sausage balls. Let's do it. Okay, first, what we have here, guys, these are your ingredients. I have three cups of the biscuit mix, I have one pound of the uh, pork sausage. And this was the sausage of my choice, okay? The bass farm. You can use the pork sausage of your choice. I have 16 ounces of the um, cheese. I'm going to grate the cheese. And I have a little cayenne pepper just for a little kick. And that is optional. You do not have to use that. If you want to use flour, you can use flour instead of the biscuit. But remember, you need to have your baking powder and your salt and stuff with that, okay? But this was a lot easier. It's just a biscuit without having to add the um, optional ingredients with the uh, flour. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to get this um, cheese grated up. Yes, you need to grate your cheese, all right? And let's do that now. All right, guys, one of the things I wanted to tell you, too. So when you're grating your cheese, just cut it in half where you can hold on to the plastic bags when you're grating because that little grated things can actually hurt your fingers, okay? And when you get to the last pieces of it, just do it slow. Do it slow so that these little objects in here, they won't cut you, okay? Yeah, just do it slow. See this bag here? Just hold that piece there, okay? And then just grate. When you get to the um, last piece of it, pull it out your bag and put your whole hand on it and just rub it down slow, okay? Just want to let you guys know that the piece. And there you have it. We have our cheese already grated up, guys. Okay? So let's go ahead and put our sausage in. It doesn't matter which order you put first, your sausage or your flour. Oh, it never really seems to matter to me. I'm just going to... Up just a little bit so I can just drop this over in here. Okay. Mash all this up in here real good. I'm just going to press it around in here, guys. Okay. Let's get it mixed up as well as we can. Oh, that's a hump. Okay, I'm going to mix it just a little bit before I add the other. Just so it won't just pop all out my, my bowl here, okay? Probably should have got one that's just a little bit deaf. But I did this here. All right, guys. So let's just mix it now. Okay, right, guys. So this is the mixture we have here. I have a little bit more cheese left to, uh, to add to it. And guys, remember too, you know, if you want to mix it, you know, with your hands and stuff, I mean, go ahead and do so. You see, I've got the... <laughs> I've got all this in here, right? I had a fork in here too, just mixing it together. I think this is probably probably the uh, piece probably take the longest to do. It's just to mixing it in well. Yeah, if you want to mix with your hand, as I said, go ahead and do it. Just make sure your hands are clean, guys. And your hands should be clean before you start cooking at all times. All times. If you want to stop in between and cook, and no, excuse me, and wash your hands, yeah, do that too. <laughs> We're already doing the cooking now. Okay, so let's add the rest of the cheese in. Okay. And if you want to use a different cheese, I'm sorry, hon. If you want to use a different cheese, like a Parmesan cheese, I have used that before. You can use that. It said we always have sharp cheese here. That's pretty much what we buy mostly, sharp cheese, unless we're going to do uh, something else. And I had this in mind to do, and I thought I had some more Parmesan cheese, but we had used it in a salad. But so this is fine. So you can use a different cheese if you like to. Okay. So this is the last piece I'm going to go ahead and mix in here. And we'll be ready to make our cheese our sausage balls. Okay. All right, guys. So we've got this mixed up. And remember, guys, go ahead and just, if you want to move this sauce and stuff all around and make sure the cheese and stuff, everything is pretty, you know, well incorporated, do that, you know. So, you know, you've got cheese and stuff in every bite. Not to say that it shouldn't have been enough cheese, but... <laughs> And if you like more cheese, then if you don't want it running over now. So I'm just going to do like a little hint of the um, cayenne pepper. Or have some ground red pepper, but I'm just going to do a little hint of the cayenne red pepper. Just a hint. And we talked about the uh, parsley or the chives. Just going to do a little hint of that in there. All right, now we've got all that done, guys. We just add those last little pieces in. We're gonna go ahead and put this here and pull it over. Okay, go ahead and preheat your oven, guys, to 400 degrees. And it'll be about maybe 15 to 25 minutes at the most. Just check them, okay? 
I got that my little scooper here that I use. I'm just gonna go ahead and just scoop some out here. And we're just gonna make the little balls. Okay. Put them up in there. So we can get packed in. Okay. And I've got no parchment paper and we're just gonna drop them down here, like so, okay? Right. Pack it a little bit, just cut around it, just spoon or something there. Right. And I'm too lazy to take the other little uh, measuring spoons off. <laughs> so that's why you're gonna hear all that jiggly noise. All right, all right. All right, so we're just going to continue to spoon these out and put them on my paper. And we're going to put them in the oven, like we said, 400 degrees for about 15 to 25 minutes, somewhere in between there. Check it off where it came off anyway, so easier to use, guys. So it was meant for me to go ahead and remove all that noise. All right, see if this on here, all right? And just repeat these steps, guys. Put them in the oven, we'll be right back. All right, guys, and there you have it. Okay, now remember, this makes about 50 in that batch, guys. If you don't want that many, uh, use less of the ingredients, you know, cut it in half. Or if you want to make the whole batch and not cook all of them right then, you can actually put the remaining of the uh, mixture in the refrigerator. And it'll keep, guys, until you're ready to use it, okay? Uh, maybe about, maybe, what, a couple weeks or so, or a week or so, you know. Uh, but it is pork, too. So you don't have to cook all of them right then, all right? Okay, join me back in a minute. And there you have it, guys. There's your cheese sausage bowl. Mmm. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy making it just for you. All right, guys. Until next time. Yep, you know what it is. It's all about love, life, and living.